Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a $100 light kit. Now, those of you who are familiar with the channel and have been around a little bit uh, have seen that I've done several different light kits. I think I want to revisit a lot of those, or some of them at least, because the uh, landscape of lighting has kind of changed recently. There's a lot of great budget options that are a little more efficient. So I'm gonna kind of revisit those, so stay tuned for those. And also, if you have a budget that is, you know, something you would love to see put together, uh, if you have $1,000, $2,000, $10,000, and you like to see a lighting kit, uh, let me know, and maybe we'll do a video, you know, covering that. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you the entire kit for 100 bucks. We're going to then go upstairs, find a random room in the house, and just set up a little, you know, YouTube interview setup using this kit. Then we'll come back down here and I'll attempt to replace uh, all my fancy expensive lights here with this $100 kit and see what we can uh, get away with. I'll have links in the description for all the stuff we're gonna be talking about. Those will be affiliated, so if you use those, I do get a commission and that is awesome and uh, appreciated. So let's go ahead and jump into our kit starting with the lights. This kit is composed of two lights one is going to be a key light the other is going to be used for all kinds of different things it really depends on your setup uh, and our key light is going to be a softbox but not any softbox it's a softbox that actually pops open so let me attempt to do this on camera it's about 20 bucks for this thing there we go nice square and it has this sheet of diffusion on the front now i know people are going to be like but i don't want a softbox i want led lighting and soft boxes suck. I'm used to using them and they're terrible. Well, a couple things with that. Number one, we are going to be using an LED light. One second. It's going to be this guy right here. It's around 20 bucks or less for this LED bulb. And it works great with any soft box. Uh, and it's super duper bright as you'll see. So plenty of output. Um, but you will need to plug this light into the wall. And that's how we're achieving this budget. Uh, another thing is you shouldn't discount or disregard soft boxes. A lot of people get confused and they think, oh, I'm buying an LED panel, so I don't need a big bulky soft box anymore. Well, it's not really true because we still need to soften up that light. Right now I'm using a massive LED light shooting through a huge soft dome or soft box to get this nice soft light. So uh, soft boxes are still great. They're one of the best, most efficient, easy to use ways to soften and diffuse your light. You can check out the video I've done on diffusion if you're unfamiliar with that. So this is going to be our key light. This guy simply goes right into the socket here. And then with Velcro, we can attach uh, this uh, diffusion here, which we'll see a little bit later. So that's the key light. I'm gonna set this down. We'll grab our second light, which is this little fella. I've actually covered this light in my video where I compare 10 different LED uh, lights. And what's great about it is the cost. You can get it between seven bucks, believe it or not, on eBay, all the way up to 20, $25, depending on what kits you get. And I got this one at $7, which is amazing, but that deal isn't always available. Uh, so I'll link to one in the description that'll go to Amazon. And uh, the beauty with that is it has a really affordable kit that comes with a light, a battery, and a charger. So you're done out of the box and a couple little gels that'll go into the front of the light. So on the back, there's a power button that you can hold down. Boom, there's 99% or 100% um, on the light. Very bright, it's going to work great for so many different applications. It's dimmable, it has a DC power input, so if you don't wanna use batteries, you can skip that. It has a little ball head here. It's gonna work great for really anything other than our key light. It could be a hair light, a background light, a kicker, all kinds of goodies. So we'll talk about that when we go into the lighting. Next, we're gonna talk briefly about stands, which at this budget, it really doesn't matter what you go with. Um, usually you can find a kit of two stands on Amazon for about 25 bucks. So I'll have a couple different options in the description and you're not gonna get amazing quality. But again, this is a starter kit and even cheap stands, I still have tons of them around the studio and sometimes you just need a butt ton of stands. So it doesn't hurt to have a couple of cheap ones laying around even as you upgrade your gear. So stands are taken care of and that's the entire kit. Now let's go upstairs and I'll show you how much damage you can actually do with a $100 light kit. Also, let's uh, grow a beard. Okay, so now we're in a small room and I switched to a wireless microphone and this is what we're going to be lighting. Just a typical kind of interview or more YouTube setup 
where you could directly talk to the camera, blah, 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 I'm a YouTuber, this is my bedroom, blah, blah, blah. So a really small room, and what we're going to do now is turn the lights on from our $100 kit. We're gonna have a key light right here, and we're gonna have a background light behind me. So let me go ahead and turn those on. So there is the key light, way too bright, so let me go ahead and drop my camera settings, which will lower the noise, since we're gonna be changing our ISO. Ah, so that is much better, and you can see we've got some definition across the face. Uh, it's dark in the background nicely because we have this bright source and we're able to drop our ISO. Now, to make it a little more interesting in the background, I'm gonna turn on the little LED light behind me. One second. You've noticed I've hidden it right back here. I'll go ahead and hold the power button. Boom. Now we have a nice little bit of a interest behind there. You can see kind of the before and after with the light on and off. And that's just gonna raise the background just a little bit. What's awesome is that light is right now only set to 35%. So in theory, you could go way brighter with it. And what I think I'm gonna do now is add a blue filter to the front of it, which some of these lights that we talked about come with. And uh, that'll add a little more interest by adding some color. And there is the light with the blue little filter tray that pops in. And now we've got a blue background. Not something you maybe wanna use all the time, but if you have just a similar gray and white everything like I do here, it's kinda of nice to mix it up a little bit by adding a little pop of color. So once again, here is the final setup with just our two lights with the stands and everything adding up to $100. And I'm gonna turn everything off back to where we were. And here we are back to what we originally started with, me sitting in a room. You can already see the big problems with just shooting without any additional light. I've got these bright windows behind me. My face is dark, but I've got bright spots here and there. So it's possible to use natural light and get good results, but it can be really tricky. And if a cloud comes overhead or you're trying to shoot at night, it becomes a real headache. There's another thing you can do, which will look really nice if we bring the camera closer and have a smaller uh, frame here and get kind of zoomed in, if you will, we're able to bring this light closer and get softer light. Okay, so here's another scenario. You can see I brought the camera closer. You could also achieve this by zooming in and I've got a much tighter uh, framing here. Now, because of that, I can bring my light closer to me without getting it into the shot. So I'm gonna grab it, bring it in, and usually what I do is get it in frame and then just barely back it off until it's just out of frame, like so. Now we can turn it on and I can change my camera settings because it's naturally going to be way too bright. So this is much, much better. I've dropped the settings down. You can see we have this really nice soft light on my face. Uh, the background is much darker because we were able to brighten up my face, which is going to be a little easier on our eyes instead of having a blown out background and a dark face. Uh, if we were shooting an interview, it would kind of be like this, maybe a documentary or a Kickstarter video or something that would work just fine. I'm now going to go ahead and reach behind me, find the on off switch for our background light and fire that up. There we go. Little bit of blue light works great. Bentley, no! So similar setup to our last one, but the only difference is we're bringing the camera in closer, which means you can bring our light closer to us, which makes a softer source. So my wife and kids just got back. This is actually a nursery and the kids need to go down for a nap. So we're gonna head back to the studio. Okay, we are back in the studio. I am going to replace my key light with our soft box and a little LED bulb here and see what we can do. Now, it's really tricky to use fewer lights in a space like this. The only lighting you're seeing in this entire room is my video lights. The entire windows, everything's blacked out. So it's a little more tricky. Upstairs, we had a ton of ambient light, so we had something to work with, but we're gonna give it a shot Nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and set up our key light here. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see kind of what's going on. So here is the current setup. There's a light behind me hitting the background and then I have my huge uh, light dome from Aperture right here lighting me. There's also kind of a white wall, faux wall or you know board here to give me a little bit of fill. So we're gonna back up the key light set up our key from the kit and uh, get rolling. All right, so we have the uh, budget key light set up here in replacement of my 120D. I also have turned off the background light, so all we're looking at right now is the key. And one thing you'll notice is it's a little harsher of a shadow on my face because this isn't as soft. There's only one layer of diffusion. 
you could add a couple you know sheets in front of it okay so i've zoomed in a little bit i was able to bring the light a little closer to me i'm pretty happy with this the only thing i would like to see is a little more fill maybe um, but i'm not going to cheat but you could bring something white in right about here and that would help kind of fill in that side of your face but again we're in a pitch black room so this is pretty great now let's go ahead and use our second light, which is actually right behind me. Let me go ahead and turn it on. There's the light at about 40%. So lighting up the background, this could totally work. I'm now going to use it as kind of a kicker light, which will give me a little bit of brightness on this side of my face coming from you know behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that. And now it's moved. It's a little more subtle of a look. You can see just a little bit of light on this side of my face. Unfortunately, I couldn't move the stand any closer to the wall than it is right there not something i'm wild about so let's go ahead and try something different so in this setup we're kind of doing two things with our light it is on the background but it's facing this way so it's kind of hitting me and the background at the same time this is going to add just a little bit of light on this side of my face and it's also hitting our background so again we're putting the light to work doing two things for us and our final setup involves using that little turquoise blue gel again and uh, it's hitting the background as well as me just like before this would be a lot more dramatic and uh, would look kind of cool for like an interview kind of like this something in there would look kind of interesting so hopefully this is giving you a couple ideas uh, and also hopefully you have more light than I do down here you can see where it gets really tricky when you have no light to begin with but if you're like most of us where you're shooting in a room with some ambient light these two lights will go a long way being able to set up this guy as a key uh, especially again if you zoom in and you're able to bring all the lights closer you're going to get softer light which just looks great um, and this ought to be awesome for any YouTubers out there who are just getting started. And keep in mind, you can scale this up. This key light setup is around 40 bucks, including the bulb and the uh, softbox. So you could get a couple more and easily do a higher key setup instead of using, you know, kind of tricky situations like I have been down here. So that's going to wrap this kit video up as I start to get a little shine since it's getting warm down here. Um, you can find links to everything we talked about in the description. Let me know what kind of kits and price ranges you guys would like to see going forward. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.